Iran is a powerful, strong country with a powerful military. It has the means, and above all, it has the will to fight you if you attack it. Please believe me on that, President Trump. I know what I'm talking about. And I told your predecessor, George W. Bush, not to do it in Iraq. And look how that turned out. But it will be much, much, much worse for you than it was for George W. Bush because Iran is far more capable and willing of fighting back against you. And Iran has a religious echo around the world. And you will not just be fighting in the Straits of Hormuz, believe me. You'll be fighting Iran everywhere, or rather, they'll be fighting you everywhere. It will be an absolute cataclysmic catastrophe if you attack Iran. This war may actually start very quickly indeed. And it may be the Iranians that start it because, from their point of view, you're already at war with them. Iran's Revolutionary Guards said on Friday Iran would not negotiate with the United States and a senior cleric warned that a U.S. Navy fleet could be destroyed with one missile, as a U.S. aircraft carrier headed towards the Gulf. The comments by hardliners appeared partly aimed at discouraging President Hassan Rouhani and his moderate allies in Tehran from taking up an offer of talks from Washington. U.S. President Donald Trump on Thursday urged Iran's leaders to sit down and talk with him about giving up their nuclear program, and said he could not rule out a military confrontation, given the heightened tensions. The carrier Abraham Lincoln, deployed as a warning to Iran, passed through Egypt's Suez Canal on Thursday. American B-52 bombers have also arrived at a U.S. base in Qatar, U.S. Central Command said. Iran has dismissed both moves as psychological warfare designed to intimidate it. The UK notes with great concern the statement made by Iran today concerning its commitments under the Joint Comprehensive um, Plan of Action. We are analysing the detail of it and we are in close contact with the other parties to the deal. But today's announcement from Tehran is, I have to say to the House, an unwelcome step. We urge Iran not to take further escalatory steps and to stand by its commitments. We are not at this stage uh, uh, talking about reimposing sanctions, but one has to remember that they were, of course, lifted in exchange for the nuclear restrictions as part of that JCPOA. Should Iran cease meeting its nuclear commitments, there would, of course, be consequences.